Hi everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. And today's little lesson, we are going to talk about fabulous filters and what you can do with some of the filters that you can find in Photoshop Elements. Now I'm working in Photoshop Elements 12 from now on. There's not too many differences in going from 11 to 12, but if you are interested in finding out all the differences, go inside the membership area if you are a member and check out the video on um, what's new to version 12. So there are some really cool features that you might want to check out. Um, it might be worth your $50 or $80, how much you can get it for. Sometimes it's on sale for $50. Otherwise, you're probably going to spend about $80 for Photoshop Elements version 12. So this is a subject I took um, this summer at the Wildlife Sanctuary in Denver. And basically, actually, it's in Keensburg, Colorado. And I had waited for a long time for this uh, little tiger to uh, look up at me and I finally got a good shot so let me go ahead and show you some cool fi uh, filters you can use to make this really pop this one looks like it's the one so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and crop it I like to use the rule of thirds so I'm gonna get my crop tool here and then I'm gonna have him kind of off-center have his eyes right in the middle of this section right here Actually, I'm gonna bring it right up a little bit all right, that's a little bit better. So let's zoom in a little bit. And what I want to get is kind of a sharper image first because it's a little bit blurry. So I'm just going to go in and maybe check out the Auto Smart Fix and see if we can get it to pop a little more. It did. It brought out some of the blacks and the whites. Let's go back to Enhance just to check and see if we can do a couple more. Auto Sharpen might work a little bit. Not much of a difference. Let's do Auto Levels little bit of a change and auto contrast and we're going to be set so that's what I like right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead over to my layers panel and I just go ahead and duplicate it several times because I'm just kind of practicing so I'm going to go command uh, control J and that will duplicate it or you can right click on it and duplicate it that way Okay. You can name each of these as well, each of these layers. But for now, since I am only going to take about five minutes to teach you how to use these filters, I'm going to go ahead and not name them. So I've got approximately 10 here. And I'm going to go ahead and do different filters for different layers. So I can go back and look and see which one I like the best. So I'm going to go up to Filter, Adjustments. Let's just check out Equalize. That kind of looks pretty cool. Let's look before and after. So equalizing it kind of makes those um, colors really pop. So here's the before and here's the after. Okay, let's go down to the next one, the next layer down, and let's go into filter and adjustments. Let's try, try out the gradient map. Okay, now notice what happens is it takes the color that was on the front right down here and it goes ahead and creates a gradient to that. Now you can go in there and change it to different gradient maps. Okay, some of them look really super cool, some of them might not look so great, but you can just test it out and see what works for you. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it, maybe change this color to maybe a, I don't know, maybe a green. Let's just try a green. I don't know how this is going to work. And then go back to filter, go back to adjustments, and gradient map. Now it has the green tint. Okay, so you can go in and try different ones. I thought this one looked pretty cool, so I'm going to click on OK. All right, so here is the before and here is the after. Let's go ahead and hide that layer, go down to the next one. Let's go back to filter, adjustments, and I like that sometimes this uh, posterize looks kind of cool. Let's go to invert. That looks pretty cool. But let's go back in to filter, adjustments, and posterize. And then we can make it even look cooler with those two colors. However, if you don't really like those colors together, you can always undo or go back through the history channel there and go to filter, adjustments, and go to, po oops, I wanted to go to posterize. Let's go to posterize. <laughs> Okay, and then you can punch in whatever level you want it to be. Okay, usually like two or four looks pretty cool. Okay, here's a two. Click on OK, and then we have a different effect before and after. Okay, let's go down to the next one. Filter, go into, let's go into artistic. I really like some of these that are in here. The poster edges I use 
somewhat. Uh, it looks really awesome whenever you have really high contrast um, pieces. And then you can play around with the different levels. Okay, the intensity, the posterization of it. Maybe I push it way up. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to click on OK and keep that one. Now you could name all these layers the different effects that you use so that you remember. And that's probably what I would do. Let's go down to the next one. Let's go to Filter. And I'm going to go into Accent Edges. Okay, This is kind of a cool effect as well. It's kind of more of an artsy effect. But then once you're in here, you can change the different brush strokes. So if you wanted a crosshatch, you can click on Crosshatch. Um, the one that I like, let's go into Artistic again. There is one. Watercolor is pretty cool with things like this, but I really like the Fresco. There's the watercolor, actually. That looks pretty cool. Let's keep that one. And then go down to the next layer and try Fresco. So I'm going to go back into Artistic, go into Fresco. And this one I really like because it really defines the different edges. And again, you can change the brush size by clicking over here and making that slider move up or move down. Let's go down. We have a few more that we can change. Let's go to Filter. Let's go back to, let's go down to, what's another one that I really like? Render. No, Sketch. There is one in here that I really like. Graphic Novel, I believe, is what it is. And you never know. You kind of It's like a trial and error type of thing where you don't know for sure what your um, subject is going to look like in that particular filter. So that's why it's always try it out, see. If you don't like it, go to the next one. Okay, that one, I think I like the painted gray best. And then again, you can go in, change the contrast. If you wanted to get, bring it out a little bit more, and so on and so forth. And I'm going to click on OK for that one. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time because if you have a really large file or a large photo, it could take a little bit to process or um, go through that filter. Let's do a couple more and then we will call it a day. Let's go to filter. Oops, let's turn that layer off. Go down to the filter here. And texture. Let's see what this one looks like. That looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And I'm going to go down to the next one. And you get the idea. But it is really just kind of seeing what's out there. Um, let me see if there's another one in Sketch. Let's go to the graphic pen. That one sometimes looks pretty cool. Now again, it's taking that green of the, with the foreground and using that as your color. So you could change that if you wanted to and uh, go from there because it did use that green. So if you wanted it to be black or whatever. So now you see all of the different variants of the filters. So I'm just going to go through there. And it, it's a lot of fun if you kind of know what your outcome wants to be and you get used to all those different filters, um, try them out and see how you like them. If you want to learn more about digital scrapbooking, go ahead and bounce on over to NAOD, as in dog, S as in Sam, dot com. Take a look at our memberships. We might be having a really good special going on right now. It, it Usually two times a month we have a good special. So if you uh, go to NAODS.com slash secret, um, you might see either page not found or you might see some specials that we have running at that particular time. It just depends on when you're viewing this video. Right now we have a great special for seven different bonuses. Um, if you sign up for an annual membership, um, you get all kinds of different things inside this membership area. Versions 9, 10, 11, and then uh, we're going to be adding more and more of version 12 in there. Just go through all of these different things and you will see what's inside that membership area. Once you do register to become a member, you will get a secret login and a password. And that will get you then into this area where you can watch as many videos as you want to 24-7. It's really an awesome way to learn because some people like to learn early in the morning. Some people like to learn late in the evening. And you get all of these different videos that you can go and learn at your own pace. We have all the Q&As from past Tuesdays, uh, Tuesdays with Michelle. 
We have all of the different members only classes that have been given for the last two or three years. And you can go in there and just watch them at your leisure. But um, like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me at info, that's I-N-F-O, at N-A-O-D-S dot com. And I will get back to you hopefully within 24 to 48 hours. Thanks for joining me and have a great Tuesday. Bye-bye.